Welcome to Simple and Easy Yoga for Beginners. This week, Hero Pose. Remember never to judge your body where it's at right now. Just practice. You'll feel progress sooner than you think. A full beginner guide with all my tips and tricks is linked down below. Now, let's begin. A short warning beforehand, if you have knee problems, then be very careful and maybe you want to use a yoga block as support. And also this pose looks really simple, but it is very straining on your hips and knees. So make sure that you have done a yoga class, maybe a hip related yoga class before practicing this pose. With that being said, let's begin by standing on our knees. Knees a bit closer than hip width apart. Begin to take your legs or your feet out towards the sides. Then lower your pelvis down in between them. This is where you might need the block as a beginner. So make sure to have that handy. So we want to keep our knees together. So maybe you have to lift up a little and then just roll your meat of your calves away to the outside to create some space. Now try and find some comfort in this foundation. Once you have, begin to really dig your toes down into the mat, charging power down into the ground. The soles of your feet are reaching up towards the sky. Now pretend someone is pulling your head straight up. Someone standing behind you and just lifting your head, creating a straight spine. You may want to tuck your pelvis under a little bit, just to maintain a neutral spine, as if you were laying flat on the floor, or as if someone had tied a stick to your back. If you're on a block and you still feel some strain in the knees, you can always use another block to elevate even further. You can also do this when you're feeling too much tension in your ankles or the upper part of your feet. Now for your arms, just put them on your thighs as far forward as you can. Maybe you can even reach your knees. Wherever your hands have landed, begin to gently pull back and feel this neutralize your spine even more. Use it to elevate the elongation of the spine. Taking deep breaths, shoulders away from the ears, pulling your navel in towards your spine with every breath and feeling the elongation of the spine. If you want this pose to be more active, then pull your hands back even more and Begin to charge your thighs, begin to press your legs in towards one another. It doesn't have to be extreme, just so you can feel warmth being generated. And don't forget to breathe. Thank you for practicing with me. If you found this video helpful in any way, give it a thumbs up. And if you've experienced any struggles in this pose, let me know and I can give you some useful tips and tricks. Whatever pose you're practicing, don't get disencouraged. It gets easier every time, with every practice, with every breath. On that note, don't forget to subscribe and join me next week. As always, I'm open for requests, so don't hesitate to reach out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Namaste.